I did not expect to see you again after the day of your sentencing. I thought you had taken the Exile's path, wandering the galaxy. Yet you have returned. Why? Yet here you are. Perhaps you do not know yourself as well as you think. Regardless, your arrival here begs an explanation. Have you come to face the judgment of the Council, as you did so many years ago? Are you finally willing to admit that we were right to cast you out? Why? Because you turned your back on us. And the Order. You followed Revan to war against the Mandalorians. The very war that made Revan a Lord of the Sith, and ruined you. So you said, so long ago. I didn't believe it then, and I don't believe it now. You sought adventure. You hungered for battle. You could not wait to follow Revan to war. The Jedi Order asked only for time to examine the Mandalorian threat. They urged caution, patience, and you defied them. So when you returned, you were brought before us. You were a Jedi no longer, and so you were exiled. There was much about that day that was difficult to forget. Your words... Your defiance, and when you stabbed your lightsaber into the center stone, I had kept it, so I would never forget. Indeed, a lightsaber is the mark of a Jedi. When you turned your back on the Order, it was not yours anymore. I have always kept it, as a reminder of what can happen when your passions dictate your actions. I have kept it, so I would never forget your arrogance or your insult to the Order. Become a Jedi again? That is a thing far out of reach. But I am not unsympathetic to your feelings. Leaving the Order must have been difficult for you. Yet you gave the Council no other choice. You gave me no other choice. So your choice was to meet the aggression of the Mandalorians with more aggression. That is not the Jedi way. Every choice we make, whether we know it or not, sends echoes through the Force. It can awaken feelings, ignite passions, hate, anger, fear, where none existed before. By meeting aggression, by serving as an opponent against which the Mandalorians could test themselves, you fed their hate, their lust for war. And it sent a terrible echo through you. And because of it, you and those Jedi who met them on the battlefield lost their way. And you turned on us. Without you and the other fallen Jedi to support them, to feed their lust for war, Revan and Malak's crusade would have been over before it began. I know you betrayed the Jedi teachings. All that you had been taught, you threw at your feet, crushed them beneath your heel. The Jedi teachings require we examine our actions. Acting without reflection is not our way. There was no guarantee that marching to war would have saved the Outer Rim. In fact, quite the opposite. A physical victory, perhaps, but the real victory lay in... You do not know... How dare you! The Mandalorian Wars should have been your grave, and Malachor V is where you should have died. What? What do you mean? You are wrong, just as you were when you defied the Council. I tire of fighting with you. You lust for war, and you always will, and you have succeeded in distracting me from my questions. So answer me. If you cannot seem to admit the Council was correct, then why are you here? Your concern is noted. Your friends have not been harmed. They have been detained for their safety. I find it unusual that you are travelling with others again. I had thought you had forsaken the company of others after the war. Or is that why you are here? Your ship? Ah, the Ebon Hall. It is not your ship. Unless you are admitting to the destruction of the Paragus mining facility. Ah, an accident. 
something beyond your control. You have not changed. Acting instead of thinking, putting yourself before the galaxy, before the Jedi. Do you know what you have done? No, your crime is much more than that. Without the fuel from Paragus, Citadel Station cannot maintain its orbit. It will crash into the planet and its destruction will echo across 20 other worlds. Telos was a test to see if the Republic could mount a restoration effort on the Outer Rim. When it fails, the Republic will not finance another. The other Rim worlds, devastated by the Sith, will remain graveyard worlds, devoid of life. And that is the magnitude of your crime. So you still hold to your flawed convictions. If you think to anger me, you are wrong. How is it that you are not content to confine your ruin to yourself? You must spread it to others wherever you go. Ruin yourself with your actions if you will. But when your actions bring harm to others, then you must answer for it. The Sith? What do you mean? You speak truly. You have encountered the Sith. I can feel the scars on you. And you encountered them on Paragus. But what would they want there? They can't have been looking for you. You. If they thought you were Jedi, the teachings of the Sith blind them indeed. I am the last Jedi, not you. You betrayed our teachings, our beliefs, the very core of the Jedi Order. If these Sith attacked you, they will soon realize their mistake. And if you escaped, they most likely let you go to see if you would lead them here. Whatever force they can bring to bear, it will matter not. If they face a true Jedi, they shall fall. I said I was the last of the Jedi, Exile, and I did not speak falsely. There are others who were once Jedi, but no longer. They will not take action against this threat. You offer your aid? After turning your back on me? On the Council? The Jedi is not something you embrace out of fear. The commitment is stronger than that, something you never seem to understand. Perhaps. But if you help me, it cannot be done from here. There are others in the galaxy who may help us against a Sith threat. If you can find them, gain their trust, perhaps our defenses shall be stronger for it. Take your ship, seek them out. If you find them, encourage them to gather on Dantooine. From there, we can call a council and see what can be done. Then I shall send you on your way. It is now time for you to depart. We shall remove her mistress. Come with us. Are you all right, mistress? The exile reminded me of something. I had forgotten. Forgive me, mistress, but I must ask. The exile, I have never seen another affect you so strongly. Was she important to you once? We all have our heroes, and when we watch them fall, we die inside. She made a choice once, and I did not. The day we judged her, I stood in the chamber, and she was... She was so right. She was so certain of it. I doubted myself, but not now. She will never make me doubt myself again. But now, now I am tired. I must meditate. Of course, mistress. I will tell the others you are not to be disturbed. And please, do not exhaust yourself. We can attend to matters here.